everyone. Today we're going to show you how to create a personalized tie for your father or husband. Now to do today's technique, you'll need an embroidery machine. We have included three free digitized designs, a game controller, a fish, and a bug. We are showing the finished product with a personalized monogram, but we leave these for you to add so you can have the right initials. We have chosen to use a purchased black tie as the backdrop for our embroidery. You can choose any color, but a solid color will show off the design better. To fit the included designs, the tie must be at least two inches wide at the point where you want your design to sit. We have decided to stitch out the design in Wonderfill's metallic thread Spotlight. Spotlight is a 40 weight metallic with a rayon core. Since rayon has no stretch, the core won't stretch as a polyester or nylon core might. That stretching can cause the metallic wrap to separate, which causes the shredding and breaking that sometimes happens with metallic threads. Since the rayon core in Spotlight doesn't stretch, that is less likely to happen, so you will have trouble free embroidery stitches and a soft finish to your design. We will be pairing the spotlight with our 80 weight deco bob in the bobbin. Even very dense stitching stays soft when you have a fine bobbin thread, and the evenly wound pre-wound bobbins will also ensure that you have no tension issues as you stitch out your design. As always, I'll be using a thread tamer and a wonder guard to tame the curl in the metallic thread and we'll be using a large eye 9014 top stitch needle to stitch the metallic thread. As I will be using a sticky stabilizer to stabilize the tie, I prefer to use this super non-stick needle for smooth stitching. See our video on stitching trouble free with metallic threads without the headache to learn our tricks on sewing with metallic thread. To begin, I will hoop this sticky stabilizer paper side up in my hoop. Mark the center so you can easily place your tie on the right spot. I'm going to lightly score the paper around the edge of the hoop with the pin and from corner to corner so I can easily pull the paper away. Decide where you want the center of your design to sit on the tie and mark the spot with some tailor's chalk. With a stitch ripper, open up the back of the tie for at least 6 inches so your tie can sit flat and open on the stabilizer. Using your hoop grid, place the tie centered on the hoop and smooth and press it in place so it sits flat and even. Download the digitized design you prefer in the format appropriate for your embroidery machine. If you choose to, add the text or monogram from your machine's text to the design before proceeding. Stitch out the design, changing colors as indicated. We've included the color numbers of Spotlight we use for our designs. When your stitch out is complete, Remove the stabilizer from the hoop and trim away on the underside of the tie. Then, using a hand needle and deco bob, hand stitch the back of the tie closed again. And there you have it. The man in your life will be proud to wear this fun, customized tie, and it is sure to be a conversation starter. If you make this project, don't forget to tag us on Facebook at Wonderfill, or Instagram at Wonderfill Specialty Threads, or by the hashtag, hashtag Wonderfill, to show us your embroidered tie. Don't forget to let us know in the comment section below what video you'd like to see next. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video and hit subscribe for more great hints and tips every Friday. We'll see you all next time.